Yeah. I'm sweating hard. Yeah, cheers. Laugh, holy crap. <laughs> sweating. This is so much harder than running. It never ends. <laughs> that back sweat. Thanks for tuning in. Speedy Gonzalez. He's feeling good today. Literally leaving me in his dust. That's okay. Proud of him. Keep going, buddy. I'm a loner. Only because Bryce just took off so fast. And I'm not in the mood for that today. Super windy, so I'm gonna keep that short. But also, happy Monday. Who's come? Who's it? Who is that? <laughs> you can hear Denise yelling in the background. So much excitement for just a four mile run. Yeah, yeah, King! Little fucking Bronco! Yeah! He ran all the way up our driveway. <laughs> it's a pretty good distance. Oh, I didn't hit her yet. Oh, alright, keep going. Yeah, so today was uh, pretty windy, pretty sandy, and uh, all the sand that we're breathing in kind of causes me to cough a lot throughout the day. So we've been trying to wear some sort of protection on those windy days, but seems like it doesn't stop all of it, of course. Oh, look at Kane go. <laughs> United. Speedy over here, slow down. Yeah. <laughs> I was just trying to work on uh, a little bit of cadence and rhythm and feeling stuff out. So. No, I'm glad that you had a really good one. Yeah. It kind of actually made me excited to see you run so far ahead of me. Oh my man. Because you haven't had good runs. I haven't. It's two days after our 16 miler and I think yeah. we both could have ran the next day so that's a good sign. The only thing I'm feeling today from it is my arch tendon is slightly tender. I could feel like a stretch in it. So I just had to go really slow today and my knee was a bit tender but that's because I did some loading stuff today and I think I might have just went a little too much. Mm -hmm. It's okay, we reversed ourselves. I'm injured and you're feeling hot. I'm feeling okay. Like literally you feel hot. Yeah, I'm pretty sweaty. And you look hot. Oh, wow. Anyways, all right, well, Monday's done. And we ran on a Monday. Yeah, we did. So I feel really accomplished. Yeah, I'm excited to have a run day, a rest day, a run day. Versus, and a run day. Versus run day, run day, run day, run day, yeah. run day. Monday. Yeah. We'll not see you Tuesday, but we'll see you Wednesday. Also, it's Kane's birthday tomorrow, so wish yes. you happy birthday. Please, in the comments. Happy yeah. birthday, Kane. Happy birthday, Kane. Tell me he's a good boy. Okay, bye. bye. Wondering Wednesday. We're driving five miles today and my knee is really tight, but my arch feels better. Oh, that's good. Otherwise, it's beautiful out, so it's not much to complain about. It's actually feeling kind of hot. Yeah. I'm sweating hard. Yes, you're sweat. Holy crap. Yeah. Sweating. Okay, well, that's your mid run update. Yeah. See you soon. Looking good. Double thumb. All right, now we take a break. Let me just let her keep running. <sighs> See ya. Hey, hey. Who, <laughs> You're not who just that? Low enough. <laughs> You're holding it low enough. <laughs> We're switching roles to see if his technique of arm height is better. Yeah, I think it's perfect. I don't have to shrink anymore. Hey, you. Yeah. It's on your chest there. Did you spit on yourself? Yeah. I spit and it just landed and then it strung a lot and 
That's a lot of spit. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> All right, so we just finished five miles. And uh, how was it for you? Um, the first half, my knee was tight, like I said. But then the second half in my head, I just kept doing micro adjustments and thinking Morgan's advice don't overstride. Mm -hmm. So I really try to like run from my hips. Right. So I like adjusted and pretended I had my water pack on yeah. to like weigh me forward. Mm -hmm. And then just making sure I'm stepping kind of aligned and more behind myself. And that actually really helped. Did it? Yeah, I didn't really have knee pain the second half. Really? Yeah, oh, so. That's great. How was your ride? Uh, I actually like had a pretty good run. I felt really like it was the first time maybe I felt kind of light on my feet. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I, I could tell you felt light on your feet because you were going fast. So we had a good pace. It was almost like a speed day for us. Um, nice. And these, these brooks, Coast 11s, man, it's like, holy, they feel so good on my feet. Like, honestly, I, I just wish they had the rock guard and the trail um, stuff on them, you know, like the different Vibram sole. Yeah. Because, like, the, the fitment is so perfect. I have, like, zero foot pain. The problem we're running into for his trail shoes is we both have extremely wide feet, and yep. apparently shoe companies like to make shoes for narrow feet, yep. which I feel like everyone needs space for their toes to move around. So we're still working on that. Yep, still, still in the search. So if you got any good tips for shoes, uh, I'm all ears. So Bryce had a question for Wandering Wanderers Wednesday. Yeah. WWW. Well, no one submitted one, so we decided that we're going to submit our own. Yeah, so what was your question? So mine was, uh, what was your darkest moment in running? I have a lot. One of them is when I did my first marathon at mile seven, my feet swelled up so bad and I didn't know what to do, so I just took off my shoes and ran barefoot for like probably six miles. And then I alternated throughout the whole marathon and my chip was on my shoe. And when I got to mile 16, and that was the furthest I'd ever ran. And I got to 16 and a half and I was like, oh my God, I'm doing it. And then I looked down at my shoes that were in my hand, not on my feet. And I, I was so delirious, I couldn't see the chip on my shoe. So I ran back a half a mile and everyone's cheering me on. I couldn't imagine. <laughs> like, what's wrong, what's wrong? I'm like, oh my God, I lost my chip. I can't finish the race without it. And then I got back to mile 16 and I looked back at my shoe and it was there the whole time. So I guess my darkest moment was being an overachiever my first marathon. Yeah, so mine, I think I talked about it just a little bit. My first marathon, we trained up to, I want to say 19 miles. I don't even know if we hit quite 20. During the marathon, we got to mile 22 and I was in like the darkest spot where like Jen, Jen was, she was just the, the light at the end of the tunnel pulling me through. I mean, it was like, I was so in a bad place where you're like, um, I mean, a lot of people describe it as, you know, the pain cave or, um, you know, it's one of the reasons to do these endurance sports, right? And for me in that moment, I was like, oh my God, and you're questioning everything. You're questioning like, can I finish this race? Am I gonna permanently hurt my body? Am I gonna have sugar cereal after this? Yeah, that's what got me through was the sugar cereal talk. But yeah, I think like that moment was really important for me to go through and push through it and then even though I thought I couldn't run another inch, I mean, I, I was like hobbling to get going. We ended up having some of our fastest miles at the end there after we just said, you know, screw it, we're just gonna go. And that was my darkest moment, was him making me run our fastest miles at the end of a marathon. <laughs> I'm always sandbagging. <laughs> That's the question for today. Yep. Let us know what your darkest moments of running are. Or lightest. Or lightest moments. Yeah. yeah, maybe that's next week's question when no one else asks us a question. Thanks for tuning in. Our arms are worked out. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Happy Thursday. We're running again. Getting some miles in. Well, we did run a quarter of a mile. My like side ache, I don't, well, I don't know what it actually is. Well, it's really sharp pain in my side. And it's either from, I didn't really have lunch today. So it could be that, or it could be having an assist on my ovary. Sometimes I get those they get really painful, which that would be like worst case scenario because they take a while to go away. Yeah, so we're just getting in movement, walking, which is okay to do. We're not failures. Literally just trying to get the miles in. I think it's actually good for me. I'm feeling like I could run today, but 
I think it's good for me to get a bunch of walking in more often than I am because so much of the ultra is going to be like walking up and downhill, not running. And you get dizzier walking than running. I do, yeah. And I, um, I'm not a super strong hiker. Like, I think I can run further than I could hike. Yeah. So I think that's good for me to just get more time walking and trying to trying to have good posture and all the stuff. It's humbling in week 13 that you still have days that can bring you down a level and you just have to work with it. But we're gonna go back and get Kane and take him for a walk on the last mile because we figure it's not fair yeah. to walk alone. He needs to get out there too. And who knows, maybe some other people will join. All right, we'll see you maybe with Kane. Okay. We're just so exhausted from running. <laughs> <laughs> we ran so hard. It feels good to finally catch my breath. Yes, we picked up some stragglers again. We were just going to get Kane, but they decided to force themselves on this walk with us. Yeah, I guess that's how it happened. Yeah. Sure, we'll say that. We'll say. All right, well, we got Amy and Caleb here to help us wrap up our last, last mile. mile. Yeah, yeah. They caught us running our casual marathon <laughs> that we do every day, so we figured we'd finish the last mile. And with denim? Them. Yeah. We like to run in denim shorts. And sandals. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're hardcore. Wow. Yeah. If you want motivation, go to this yeah. honky tonk and. Uh, we get it from him. <laughs> And Jet supplies everyone with motivation. You can check oh, wow. them out on Titan Tube. Yeah, check them out on Titan Tube. Yeah, there you go. Whoa. Okay, that's enough awkward talk, and we're gonna go. Bye See guys. you tomorrow. Welcome to week 13. Uh, this is our long run day one. We're gonna yes. do two different long runs for the first time ever, where we do back to back, nine miles, and then tomorrow nine miles again. Yes, so it is Friday. We were gonna do it Saturday, Sunday, but we just kinda wanna get it over with. Yeah, so. and then we can relax all day Sunday with our friends, which sounds awesome. We'll see how today goes. Yesterday I had the side pain that came out of nowhere, which was debilitating and I couldn't run. So I really hope that's not the problem today and I've been having a hard time trusting my body lately. I just feel like it seems like it does a good job, but then wants to just fail randomly. I don't know if that's normal. <laughs> so I don't know, that anxiety is, yeah. it's hard to overcome. I always get a lot of anxiety around the long runs because of that exact thing. Like, yeah. just it's a high injury sport and we're putting a lot of miles in and we haven't put a lot of miles in in years and now we're training in this rocky kind of ankle twisty environment so it just adds layers of uh of challenge all right well wish us luck and it will for sure keep you updated <laughs> yeah it looks like it's getting windy now so we picked the oh. perfect timing to start um Yay. it is really hot today so honestly yeah. the wind will feel good as long as we're not coughing on dust and dirt yeah so, all right, we'll see you out there. Bye. We're midway in the midway. We're in two miles in, and that means two and a half miles more until we turn around and head back home. Breaking it down in little segments. My body's feeling okay. How's yours? Yeah, all right, I'm feeling not light like I was feeling the other day. Did a workout before we ran. I'm always kind of questioning how hard I should go before a long run, especially. Well, you shouldn't go very hard. Yeah. We're just getting after it. We'll see you at four and a half. agreed that we're going to just take a little walking break and eat some fruit snacks. Yeah, this one's been a grind for sure. I mean, it's we'll complete it no problem, I think. It's been hot and in the direction we were running, there was zero wind. I'm just like sweating into my eyeballs where it's burning. Fine. It's been kind of a sore run, I guess. Oh, 
I mean, I feel pretty good most of the time. I just have like weird knee pain in a part where I don't typically have knee pain. It's just kind of burning and I'm just mentally keeping track of it. But I don't think it's anything to be concerned about. It's just kind of pestering, you know? For sure. I can't really go into a flow state because I'm just always Focusing reminded. Yeah. yeah. So far, I think it's going good. Definitely could be a worse day. So I'm happy with what we got today. Yeah, back in Minnesota, it feels like negative three. So I'll take 75. Yeah, things can always be worse. All right, we're gonna walk for a little bit more, enjoy fruit snacks, and regather ourselves. Yep. I wonder if she gets so many miles. Look at that back sweat. That's proof she's been running. We totally just didn't miss her. Keep going. Okay, we did it. We did the nine miles. Mm -hmm. Went pretty good, other than I just, my knee was sensitive. Mm. But it was nice to kind of have mid to long range for running. Mm -hmm. It was nice to not do double digit, just be like, okay, we're when we get to four and a half miles, then we have four and a half left. That was really refreshing, and I'm curious to know how it's gonna go tomorrow. So What's a nice change of pace? Because we're trying to have a wind down week from, we went up two miles a week, and now we're gonna go up even another two miles this week, but by easing say. the burden on two days makes yeah. it not so brutal. Yeah, I'd like to maybe get into a rhythm too where we start doing like run three, walk one, and then run another two or something like that. Yeah. Just like some way to kind of like get more movement, more more time on our feet in, but still it's not just as savagely brutal day after day of running. This is kind of weird because like we're gonna run again tomorrow. So it's like we're not done with mm -hmm. our running. And we have to keep that mindset because we're gonna hang out with friends. So we have to keep it chill. And have a, we're having a big campfire. Yeah. So we're, we're gonna shut it. This has been the struggle. It's yeah. like, okay, like, feel good with yourself. Like, you wanna still be social, but tame it down. Mm -hmm. Because the run right now is very important not to hurt ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I just didn't know that was gonna be the struggle we faced. <laughs> to have fun or have fun? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> If you think running's fun. No, I don't. Not at oh, all. Oh, okay. All right. Well, on that note, I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. Bye. It's Saturday! Long run number two. Two consecutive runs and I tape my knee up to hopefully have it withstand the test of time. <laughs> yeah, well and it's, uh, it's raining in the desert so that's something we've never really navigated before. Yeah. And uh, I'd say we're both a little bit sore from run yesterday, but uh, not super bad. So we're just gonna try to kind of push through it and get it done. Yeah, I'm more just nervous about having little injuries fester mm -hmm. with doing it, like not having a complete rest day by just pushing again. So we're probably gonna go way slower than we did yesterday. Yeah, we were doing like 8.30ish pace yesterday for a lot of it and then yeah I think today we're gonna try it for maybe nine and a half or ten yeah just grind through it all right well let's get after it okay. and see how it feels wish us luck <laughs> oh my god <laughs> the mud is happening I'm slipping all over feet are 10 pounds that's gonna make for an interesting run here terrible. They keep going through bouts of collecting and discarding. You actually like... Yeah, mine look pretty good. Yeah, look really good. Uh, okay, here we go. All right, two miles in. Obviously our feet are 
heavy bricks. Yep. My knee tape already fell off, so it was helping until it didn't. The rain smells so good. Yeah. Oh. We haven't really been in the desert with rain. I really like this. <laughs> so fresh smelling. Yeah. So I really enjoy the element when added we to the run. Kind of overly hot yesterday, and today definitely feels nicer. It's nice and cool. Yeah. No wind. We're gonna go two and a half more miles out and turn around. We'll take him with you at four and a half. All right, made it to four and a half. And we were hitting a good rhythm. Yeah, I felt like that was the first time in a while that we like really got in a good flow. Like I feel like we matched each other's energy pretty well. Yeah. And I was really just focusing on taking like smaller strides. Did you just up your cadence then? Yeah, so I was just taking shorter, faster steps and making sure I'm like kind of planting underneath me more. Yeah, I felt it was good. I mean, I still feel like some pain in my knee, but it actually feels better today than it did yesterday. Oh, good. So how are you yeah. feeling? I, that was maybe the first time that I really have found a rhythm running. Really? Like this, wow. this training. So it's, That's so good. Uh, honestly, it felt pretty good. Like my, my hip flexors are definitely sore and I'm not feeling perfect. I actually have a lot of tightness kind of in my upper back. Hmm. I'm just trying to just get through it, right? It's not that long of a run. We can walk if we need to. Yeah. I'm just trying to kind of look out and enjoy the landscape because it's and so pretty. Listen to the gunshots in the background. Yeah. Lots of gunshots happening right now. Yeah, someone's going to town. All right, we're going to walk for a little bit, maybe have some fruit snacks again, and then continue running. Yeah. And we'll catch up later. Bye. in the rain. What a mess. This is the first time it's rained here since we've been here. Ugh. All right, we're about a mile and a half, I guess, yep. left, and this road is not runnable. The Jeep road, it's just, oh my God, we're slipping and sliding. Yeah, I'm just getting mud caked on my shoes, and I don't even have trail shoes as I've said countless times, so like this is, this is rough. Yeah, so it's really pointless to, to attempt running. But we're gonna walk the rest, so we actually get to nine, and we'll call it good. Yep, hey, it's good to walk. I'm soaked. <laughs> I'm just completely drenched. We need to get you one of these rare Ken's Tiki Bar hats. Oh huh? yeah, there yeah. we go. Come on, Ken, where's my hat? That'll keep the sweat out. <laughs> like, look at how saturated my jacket is. I'm pretty sure there's like more water inside my jacket than outside my jacket. Oh. Well, at one point when I let my arms down, I could feel the sweat drenched. come out. But I guess we'll do our send off here because this, not much is gonna change by the time we get back. Yeah, we're just gonna try to dry off and uh, I guess get ready for our Friendsgiving. Yeah, I'm so gonna, hyped. We're gonna have vegan Friendsgiving. Yes. And we're all gonna make a dish and rotate bands. Oh my God. It's the little things that make you excited for life. Yeah. 
this is a completion of week 13 in our first consecutive long run. And I think it went pretty well. Yeah. Mine is like, my knee is slight tender. So I think we're gonna take two days off just to rest and recoup our body. And then I guess week 14, I have no idea. So I have to look at the schedule and see what our game plan is. We're pretty stoked and wet. We'll see you next week. Thanks for running with us or walking. Bye. That was pretty wet. <laughs> it never ends. This is so much harder than running. I take it back. <laughs> Walking in the rain and mud and I'm so cold. And my hands are so pruney. Uh. <laughs>